Imagine this apple represents our planet. I want to show you the tiny amount of land we've got to grow our food on. First, I've got to get rid of three quarters of this apple. Now this is all the oceans and the seas. Next to go are the areas that we can't farm. Places like deserts, mountains, and of course, towns and cities. And this is what we're left with. You've got to imagine that this is the area of the earth that we've got to grow all our food on. But in fact, this small sliver represents the soil we've got to grow our food in. And we've got to feed nearly seven billion people with it. And in the future, this tiny bit of land will have to feed even more people. Over the next 40 years, we need to double the amount of food we produce. I want to see how farmers around the world are going to meet that challenge. And I'm starting in the giant of South America, Brazil. The country that wants to become the world's number one food producer. What I'm seeing is an agricultural superpower on the move. They're using ingenuity and clever science to get the most out of their land. These guys do it better than anyone else in the world. Whoa! This is farming's wild frontier. I think it's better if you stay here, Jim, and I'm going to go in there and chat with them. Where the environment sometimes pays a price. So can Brazil show us how to feed the world?